By the grace of God, I'm doing great. What about you? I'm also doing great. Thank God. Grace. So, um, Elder, last time we spoke about um, the Easter and Passover. Mm -hmm. And during the questions that I asked, one particular question came out. And today's episode, we would like to continue on that particular question, which is okay. uh, about the month April. Mm -hmm. The month April. Mm -hmm. uh, according to Bible, mm -hmm. um, the month April is the first month mm -hmm. of the year. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, in our current world, April is the fourth month of the year. Mm -hmm. So Ella, can you please take us into scripture and explain this to us? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Then uh, we're gonna do some online uh, Bible uh, checks where we can share screen and then we uh, we quote the scriptures into it. Yes, and please. Read it together, if you don't mind. Yes, please. We are here to learn, so I don't mind at all. Okay, the first month of the year. Um, let the Bible speak. When you get quickly to the book of Exodus, chapter number um, 12. So Exodus. Exodus. 12. Mm -hmm. Chapter 12. Yeah, there's one down. And I've selected the uh, NLT version of the Bible, NLT. Okay, I have a Hebrew Bible here. Okay. So our first quotation, note it, Ezra chapter 12, verse number one. Yes. He says that whilst, let me zoom it a bit, whilst Israelites were still in Egypt, mm -hmm. or in the land of Egypt, the Lord gave the following instructions to Moses and Aaron. He said, from now on, this month will be the first of the month to you. Mm -hmm. He said, this month shall be the first of the month to you. He did not mention any month. Yes. So then how would I know which month was the first month then? Right? It's the next question somebody might ask himself. Yes. If that be then, then let's jump, let's quickly jump to uh, uh, the same Ezra chapter 13, verse number four. 13, four. Yeah. 13, verse four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me zoom it. He said, on this day in the early spring, in the month of Abib, or it is Nisan, you have been set free. You must celebrate this event in this month each year <coughs> after the Lord brings you out of the land of the Hivite and the Moritite, or if I sit in there. So the name of the month is now known. Abib. You see? Another translation, it says the month of Nisan is the same thing. Yes. Now, he has not said anything concerning our current month. So mm -hmm. if that's the case, let's go to the book of Esther chapter 3. Esther chapter 3. We do what we call exegesis. <laughs> Esther 3, verse 7 downwards. Esther chapter 3. Mm -hmm. Are you there? Yes. Okay. Esther chapter three, mm -hmm. verse number seven. So in the month of April, during the 12th year of King Zeus's reign, laws were cast. You see here he says in the month of okay. April. Uh -huh. So let me take another translation where he names the first. Let me go to the New King James Bible mm -hmm. version. And let's read from there. Esther 3, 7. The new King James says, on the first month, you see that? It's the yes. first month. Uh -huh. And I told you, Abib was the same as Nisan, right? Yes. Right here. So you see, it's written here on the first month, which is the month Abib. And the NLT says, oh, sorry. In the first month, which is the month of Nisan. And the NLT translation said April, right? Yes, yes. 
we can deduce from these three quotations that mm -hmm. the month of Nisan, which is the first of all the months, is the month of April. Wow. Yeah. And the Bible says so. Wow. Yeah. So okay. let me take you quickly to Ezra chapter um, 14. Ezra. Is it? Ezra, Ezra chapter 6, verse 19. Yeah, Ezra 6, 19. Ezra 6. 19. Yeah. Six nineteen, six nineteen, six nineteen. First man. You see, the heading says the Passover celebrated. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's written there in my Bible here. See that? Passover celebrated. And the Bible says that, and the descendants of the captivity kept the Passover on the 13th day of the first month. It's right there in your Bible. Right there. Wow. Right there. And from Esther 3, 7, which month did we deduce it to be? April. That's it. So on the 14th day of the first month, we're supposed to celebrate it there, right there. Okay, so then why is April in our current world the fourth month instead of the first month? That one will take us to another diversion which we have to come back. <laughs> let us establish the Passover there first, then later we come back to the wise. Okay, so then if I'm correct, Elder, since April is the first month of the year, mm -hmm. that will be the second month. May will be the second month. And then June the third and so on. No, 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 it doesn't work like that. They have mixed it up. I will, I will take time to explain to you one by one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's, let's go to Joshua. Joshua chapter five, verse 10. Yeah. Are you there? Almost, Joshua. Okay. Five, 10. That's after the death of uh, Moses. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm highlighting mine and I'm going to make it blue. See that? It's written there. Now, the children of Israel and come at Gigal and kept the Passover on the 14th day of the first month. Okay. Yeah. It's right there. 14th day of the first month. And we learned just now that the first month was in April. So right now, my church, we are preparing for the Passover. It's supposed to happen this month. Mm, on the 14th. Yes. And it's not that one sad, uh, once in a month that you do in the churches on a Sunday mornings. No, 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 no. We are talking about Passover, is that not communion? Oh, okay, no. yes, exactly. My next question was, so the communion that some churches do, uh -huh. um, is, is there a difference between the communion and Passover? Uh, we are, we are getting it, I'll, I'll bring it. The difference is what you are seeing now. Yeah, <laughs> some do a month basis, some uh -huh. do it basis but if we go into scripture god commanded us to celebrate it once a year once a year yeah not once every month so that's one of the big difference yeah okay yeah let's go to numbers numbers nine verse eight downwards and all that i'm speaking about here they are not in my book it's in the scriptures oh. that reading from it's, it's, I'm even in shock because I'm reading it for myself. Yeah. I'm reading it for myself. Numbers chapter. Nine verse eight. This one, it was about somebody, or it was about a group of people who have defiled themselves with human cops. Yeah. So, 
Yes. You cannot be part of the celebration. And yes, and yes, the Sunday, Sunday, yeah, 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 Then let me hear what God has to say concerning mm -hmm. you. Then I'll tell you what you should do. Mm -hmm. So when you read the verse 9, it is there. Jump to verse 11 because of time. Yeah. You jump to verse 11. The Bible says that on the 14th day of the second month at the twilight, they may keep it as a Passover. <laughs> It's right there. On the 14th day of the second month. So, mm -hmm. in the first month, on the 14th day, the Nissan, they could not celebrate because of what had happened to them. Or mm -hmm. the person might be on a far journey who could mm -hmm. not travel home. Or somebody became ceremonially unclean to take part of the Passover celebration on the 14th day of the first month. Then, yeah. God gave a chance to them to celebrate it. Not any other day, but mm -hmm. on the 14th of the next month. Wow. It's right there in your Bible. Wow. And what we also keep reading is that it's all race between the evenings. Yeah. But most churches, they do not hold their communion or even their the Lord's Supper, as they call it. Yeah. They never um, hold it in the evenings. It's always in the mornings during church service or in the afternoon. But now you see, you are bringing out the differences yourself. <laughs> <laughs> the word is supper. How can you take supper in the morning? No. Uh, it doesn't work. No, supper because supper is evening. Evening. breakfast is in the morning, lunch yeah. is in the afternoon. Yeah. And evening yeah so then why do churches hold their communion in the mornings they have deviated from it i told you just now in Ezekiel chapter 20 verse 20 says that their pastors they don't know the difference between this and that they don't do it because holy spirit is not speaking to them now but what i wonder is do they even are they even a bit scared of of god's judgment concerning no, this because do, It's not that they do not know it. They know it because it is written. Ah, okay. Uh, some of them don't know. <laughs> This is unbelievable, Elder. This is... Uh, some of them don't know. Or they do not want to know. They just want to go with the tradition. Jesus because said it. if you want to know, you can know it. Jesus said it. They want to keep the traditions of men and ignore God's law. So when this God spoke through Prophet Ezekiel and tell, they told them, your priests, they have violated my laws. They don't know the difference between the good and the bad anymore. Our pastors these days, these baby were pastors, only chop chop, give it to you, God will bless you, and for the body now, for the body next day. No, they don't have time for the Bible. Wow. They went for, they went for trade learning. They mm. passed out, they need to give you the money back. They don't yeah. tell you. They don't. Yeah. If you look at Second Chronicles chapter 30, King Hezekiah, he keeps the Passover, Hezekiah the king. Mm -hmm. How many years after the, uh, they are coming out from Egypt? How many years later? Mm -hmm. Hezekiah sent to all Israel and Judah and also wrote letters to Ephraim and Manasseh that they should come to the heart of the Lord at Jerusalem to keep the Passover to the Lord God of Israel. He commanded them, everybody come. Mm -hmm. To keep their Passover, it's right there. They didn't keep Easter or they didn't keep communion. Mm. Mm? They did not. Because they had prepared a lamp that they are going to use for all those things. Yes. I told you that you might think uh, this other uh, light cutting only things are a term, near my term in the Old Testament. What about the New Testament? Let's go to Luke. Luke is on the Old Testament. Let's go to Luke. Luke chapter 2. It's right there in your Bible. Hmm. 
There's four. Uh, 41, yeah. All the way down there in your Bible, 41. It's right there. Luke 2, 41. Yeah. The Bible says, the top heading says, the boy he says are made his scholars. Mm -hmm. So 41. His parents went to Jerusalem every year. Every month. No, every month, every evening. <laughs> oh, every year. At the feast of? The Pesach. Uh -huh. The Pesach or the Passover. Exactly. It's right there. Wow. Yeah, the appearance called Odo. It is said Carnival, Abba. And now something has come now, Odo, my echo yearly. You go yeah. there yearly, every year, to go yes. and celebrate whatever is coming over there. Which means Jesus, Odo, so celebrated Passover. Of course. Even, the, even before he's there, he celebrated it with the people. I'm yeah. sorry, so you're quite by Omo Trey, I say, I say, yeah, it's your Jesus. If you are using Jesus or by no celebrate Passover, then we will call no. Yes, celebrate Easter. Something totally different from Passover, what he, which he celebrated. Yeah. Now the answer is when you go to church, who will lead you to do all these celebrations? The pastor, the and preacher. Ezekiel, and Ezekiel chapter twenty-two verse when it says, it's telling you that your pastors don't know the difference between the good and the bad. Yes. That's why I quit the Sunday church. Yes. Because if I read the Bible for myself mm -hmm. and I pray, the Spirit mm -hmm. of God tells me, well, why is wrong? The what you are reading, you are doing the contrary. Yes. I was a presiding elder. And to be my amazement, when I read the Bible and go there on the first, month, first Sunday of the month and do the contrary, mm -hmm. the opposite, it's like yeah. I don't sleep. Yeah. He said, "Minima di papa na me chere ni pano bone no." It is not good. Yeah. And my conscience don't get me right. So we wait them see the man just sorry we are God will punish me because I know the right thing. I teach the right thing, but no, I can't do it. That's why I quit. Hmm. One of the reasons why I quit. Yeah. Let's go quickly to John. John one twenty nine. New Testament this time. So that I might answer some of the questions that you have on your paper. Uh, John chapter la, 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 one, all the way down, all the way down, 29. John chapter one, 29, yes. So the next day, John saw Jesus coming towards him. And he said, behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin the lamb and the lamb of god you see that lamb that was in exodus time that's yes. the lamb who has manifested yes. in in a, in a, in, a, in a human form mm -hmm. on two legs walking on two legs mm -hmm. uh, he is the one that john saw so that's if christ is our passover lamb where is the easter bunny coming from then <laughs> yeah, that's something I really like to know. Yeah. That's if something. Want, yeah. If something we want to know, then let's find out in the Bible. It's right there. Matthew, let's go to Matthew. Matthew 26, verse 2. Hmm. You ask for quotation. I'm gonna load you with it. Do you have a basket with you? <laughs> Matthew chapter 26. Now, it came to pass, when Jesus had finished all these things, he had said to the disciples, he said, you know that after two days is the Passover, the Son of Man will be delivered to be crucified. Go to Exodus chapter 12. It's about the same evening when the same lamb was given to be kept in their hands for four days. <laughs> and now in the New Testament, Yes, I is saying that in two days time, it's going to be the Passover. They're going to carry out the lamb. Deliver him, yeah. To be slaughtered. And I am the lamb. I am. Hmm. <laughs> Did he mention Easter or communion over there? Oh. From here, you can get one of it. Yeah. If you're not satisfied, jump to verse number 27. They say Matthew chapter uh, 26, verse 17. 
verse 17. Reading down through 17 to 19, it is written clearly there in black and white. He said, now on the first day of the feast of the unliving bread, the disciples came to Jesus saying, where do you want us to prepare to eat the communion? Mm -hmm. Go in our Bible name. Yeah. It's not communion. It's Pesach. It's Pesach, Passover. The disciples didn't know anything about Easter or communion. All mm -hmm. they knew was Passover. And Jesus answered to them and said, go into the city. Mm -hmm. A certain man who said to, uh, 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 go into the city to a certain man and say to him, the teacher says, my time is at hand. I will keep the, is that communion in the Bible there? Passover. Passover. Pesach. Pesach at your house with my disciples. The disciples did as Jesus had directed them and they prepared the Passover or Pesach. <laughs> is that communion? Or is that um, Easter? It's a Passover. Oh. So what they are doing is what we're supposed to do. Or what they did, that's what we are supposed to do. Yeah. Is that what we are doing? Of course not. We are doing what we want. Yeah. That's it. Let's jump to Mark. It's New Testament. I finished the Old Testament. We are not dealing with the, uh, the New Testament. Marco chapter number 14. Let's start from there. Hmm. If you are tired, you tell me you are tired. I mean, I'll quit. I'll, I'll, I'll I, bombard you with it. Reading and, and I'm surprised at the same time and in shock. Yeah. It's mixed emotions at the same time. Every day we talk about the death of Jesus, how um, they plot to kill him. But we forget about which occasion did he die. Or the yes. Bible has pretended he did. It was about the Passover. Why? Because he is the Passover lamb. Yeah. So Mark 14, verse 1 says, two days, after two days, it was the Passover. Mm -hmm. It didn't say it was the communion day or the Easter, the feast of the living bread. And the yes. chief priest and the scribes sought how they might take him by trickery and put him to death. Mm -hmm. That's about Jesus. They wanted to kill him. Yes. It's about the Passover. Wow. When the Passover comes, people from all over, they travel over there to celebrate it. Let's jump to verse 14. Verse 14 says, I'm talking about Matthew chapter, I'm sorry, Mark 14, 12. Yeah. Mark, look at the heading. Heading says, this is celebrated Passover with his disciples. He didn't eat communion with them. Mm -hmm. He didn't celebrate Easter with them. He no. ate the Passover, sister. Yes. So Matthew, Mark, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Andrew, Peter, Judas, Judas, uh, 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 all the other, uh, James and all the disciples, they all knew one thing, Passover. Yes. Where in the Bible did Peter celebrate Easter? No, nowhere. Abba, come on. Where? So now, on the first day of the living bread, when they had killed the Passover lamb, the disciples said to him, where do you want us to go and prepare that we may eat the Passover, sister? <laughs> right there, black or white. You see? Yes. Everything is written right there for you. If you are not satisfied, let's jump to the verse 14. So wherever he goes, say to him, master of the house, the teacher says, where is a guest room which I may eat there? Passover. He didn't say communion. He said Passover with my disciples. It's right there in your Bible. And when you scroll a little bit further down to um, verse 16, it's written there again. In verse 16. The Bible says, so his disciples went out and they came into the city and found it just as he has said. And they prepared their Passover. He didn't say Passover. Passover is right there. No communion. But he didn't prepare Easter, no. And not communion, no. It's Passover. They are commemorating what Moses has written for them. They are yeah. all first century Jews we are talking about. They are not Ghanaians or Ashanti people who are stubborn, no. <laughs> we just look. Uh -huh. Elder, yes, madam. So why are they saying that um, the Passover is for the Jews, the Jewish people, or the Hebrew people, and and Easter is for the Christians. Okay. As I told you in our earlier uh, discussions, that is how they have coined it. 
But nowhere the Bible says that Jesus said, this is the new covenant in my blood. So from now, call it Easter. Yeah. Jesus did not say that. But don't forget that God chose the nation of Israel as his nation. He gave his laws to them so that from them we will get it or the other nations will get it. It's like manufacturing a product and you make a prototype. It's a prototype that you're going to use to do all the others or the other things. So the manufacturer of this phone, he made first the prototype of it and from there he copied it. Mm -hmm. Way back to the creation, God made only Adam and Eve. And through them, everything yes. came. Yes. So he created one nation, Israel, give them his laws from the other nation who copy from it. Mm -hmm. So we are supposed to get it from them. Yes. When you put that one aside, the Bible said in the book of John that Christ came to his own. His own, we did not receive him. Yes. But to those who receive him, he gave them the power to become God's children. Yes. So God, Christ did not just come for the Jews alone or the Israelites alone, for the whole world. Yes. So right. according to the book of Hebrews, we are like a branch, a tree standing there with branches. Yes. Because of our unbelief, the branches are broken off. Mm -hmm. And we, the Gentiles, we might be grafted in. Yeah. So if a branch, next time I will spend time about this Hebrew thing, and it's very deep. Yeah. If the branch of the tree is broken off and me and you, we are grafted in. Can we make our own choice that we will not do what the other branch used to do? Of course not. You, you two will be broken off. Yeah. So God chose Israel first and gave everything to them. And then from there, other Gentiles will receive it. That's how it is. And come to look at it, it's even contra contradicting because if um, the Passover was only for the Jews, mm -hmm. As, and sometimes they also made the comparison with the Ten Commandments that mm -hmm. that was also made for the Jews alone. Yeah. So if we <laughs> if we if we bring that into our current world, it means then we can steal, we can commit adultery, we can we can do all the things that the Ten Commandments forbids us to do yes. because that that law was only meant for the Jews. Okay. That is what some churches teaches. But they what we see right now, you see something. You are a married woman. Go and do something behind your husband's back. You will see something. Then when you say, I'm divorcing you, Sandra. Oh, by the laws I make for the Jews. Yeah. One I better obey. <laughs> so it is not only meant for the Jews. But you know, when you read the book of Deuteronomy, the pastors always quote that verse to uh, collect offering. It says, and first, I find many of you don't come to the Lord's hand empty handed. Was that law given to the Ghanaians or to the Jews? <laughs> and they quote it for money. Yes. But when you tell the right thing, they, it was given to the Jews, to yes. the Israelites, not us. Who are you to make a distinction between what God gave to who? That's a very, it's a big deception. That's what I told you right from the beginning. A big deception. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Other, if we if we continue with this subject, I, I think we will, we will never come to an end because it's not only the, the, the Easter tradition. There are so many other traditions that Christians celebrate, which is not biblical, but no. we, we have committed ourselves to it and we celebrate it. Yes. And uh, meanwhile, our creator is against it. Yes. So why are we people so stubborn? Why are we so disobedient? And why do we want to do the things that our creator commands us not to do? And the things that he commands us to do, we do not do. Okay. Uh, let me end the quotation with this last one and I'll answer the question for you. Hmm. First Corinthians 5 verse 7. Oh, let me read from the verse six. He said, your glorying is not good. Mm -hmm. Do you not know that a little living leavens the whole lump? Mm -hmm. Therefore, purge out the old living, that you may be a new lump. Since you are truly a living, for indeed, <laughs> Christ, our Passover lamb, 
who was crucified for us. Christ, our Passover lamb, is sacrificed for us. So therefore, if that be the case there, we should remove every sin from us, every malice, everything, because a little bit of sin will contaminate your whole body. Yes. Man. So therefore, remove everything from you. That's what the Bible says. Mm. Yeah, it's right there, verse 7. Christ, our Passover lamb, right here. Yeah. yeah. He's a Passover lamb. So, if the pastors want people to repent, they should talk about Passover. Yeah. Because Satan doesn't want people to repent and come to his kingdom, mm. you can put them pushing their attention to the Easter. Mm. Because the first Corinthians 5, 7 is telling you that a little bit of sin in your life can contaminate you. Yes. Don't forget where we read in Numbers, chapter 9, verse number 8 and 11. I told you that there was a, some group of people who touched the corpse, somebody who was dead, they were not permitted to take the Passover. Mm -hmm. So Moses had to inquire of the Lord and God yes. said, okay, they should come back the following month. Why one month time? You have time to cleanse themselves from that yes. contamination. Yes. So it yes. might be the same way according to mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians 5, verse 7. Take the lamb from you. Take those sins from you. Let mm -hmm. go. Why the Passover lamb, Yeshua Messiah, has been sacrificed and you can eat with him. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. taking away that lamb means repent of your sins. Yes. But because of deception, Satan doesn't want people to repent. And our pastors are che cheating us that we can do it anyhow on the Easter and also on the Lord's Supper morning. Yeah. That's why we are not repenting. Hmm. They don't teach us the truth. Yeah. So coming to your question, I can easily answer it like this. Satan came from heaven. He was kicked down here. Mm -hmm. And you are here. You want to go there. Yeah. He has experienced God's glory face to face. The Bible says before God, he used to walk up and down in the fairy uh, coast. He's mm. things for God. Right from the presence, he was there. He had tasted and found the goodness, God's glory right there. You know how heaven is like. Mm. And he was kicked out. And you, flesh and blood, you say you want to go there. Come here, hey. <laughs> he will do everything that yes. he can not to kill you, but to deceive you from the truth. Yes. So he has, the Bible says, he himself, he can radiate as an angel of light. Yeah. He has hired some pastors and mm -hmm. he are working for him. Most mm -hmm. people are working for, most pastors are working for Satan. Eh? Yeah. Most of them, most of them. Yeah. They will destroy the people from the truth. As we read in Ezekiel 22, verse 26. You see that? So that they will not come to the truth of the light. Yeah. But as for me and my family, as Joshua said, we shall serve and know him Yahweh. I've come, yeah. that's why I quit Sunday church. Yeah. Not because of what any person does or did. But my reading the scriptures and praying, oh, I have to my, my letter from the wrong wall. Yes, that's why I quit. I want to reason why I quit. All these celebrations, we have Mother's Day, Father's Day, uh, Lupicaria, Valentine's mm -hmm. Day, uh, World Breast Day, World mm -hmm. Brazia Wearing Day, World <laughs> Condoms Day, World Kissing Day, a whole lot of. So many days, but none of None of them is in, in the scripture. The only one that is Sabbath day, look at what they are talking against. The only one Sabbath day. They don't want to hear about it. They say, you see, we, you see, what do you want to tell I can't think far. <laughs> Maybe God is preparing those kind of people to use as firewood to burn others. Maybe. But as for me, pa, dear, to be honest, I don't know any, everything. No. I don't know everything. No. no. But by his grace, mm -hmm. I will never let anybody take it from me. I pray that God help me to learn more. I don't mm -hmm. know everything. But the little I know, forget it. No, yes. no way. Mm -mm. That's how it is. Yes. Yes. Wow. 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 Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
for now will keep us safe and vigilant from the deception of, of the evil one because the world is full of lies, yeah. lies, deception. Yeah, and I try to I will say that blindly. Yeah, for lack of knowledge, but people will perish. We lack it. We don't have the wisdom that yes. uh, is necessary to learn all these things. Yeah. There's so many things going on in the world right now. And yeah. if you are not awake, before you, 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 you will wake up, it, it is too late. Yeah. It will be too late. And that is how the enemy is working. He deceives us. He blinds us. He, he, he uh, distracts us with so many things. Uh, now for you? More than enough, more than enough to 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 uh, to, to how do you say that to consume okay. until the time we meet. Okay. So enough, my belly will be very full. Thank you. And the next time, the next time we meet, I'm sure I will have some a list of other questions for you. But uh, the question you said you have, I think we tackle only two or three. Yes, that is. Don't worry. Anytime you have time, call me. I'm ready to help you sort things out. Okay. God okay. bless that, you. That is great. That is great. Okay. Then, uh, and maybe next week we can continue with the Easter because uh, the Easter and Passover, because according to scripture, it's it's next week yeah. that celebrated. Yeah. And, um, according to the world, it's the week after that they will celebrate it. Yeah. So, Maybe we can continue next week since okay. it's still in the in the, in the, in the period. In the, yeah. in the okay. Period. So uh, for now, I would like to thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Thank for uh, for for bringing up to awareness to the truth, uh, and and for the Bible scriptures. Um, I don't know if you have the the quotations that we we you mentioned earlier. Yes, I have it in my head, in my uh, hard disk here, but I can pour it down for you. <laughs> you can put it in the subscription uh, box. Yes, on the I'll YouTube. do that. No problem at all. Yeah. People can um, go through it for themselves because yeah. I think it's very important if they read it. Because me, sometimes if you are quoting,